is uh, what's happening this weekend. So today is the 27th of March, and this weekend we have Evo Japan, uh, which technically I believe starts on the 28th, which is today, right? Isn't it on the 28th, or is it my tripping? Let me it is the 27th. Check. This, oh no, it starts on the 31st, sorry. It's at the end of the month, yes, I'm correct there. Uh, but yeah, I, for some reason I thought it was on the 28th and just continued on. But yeah, this week is Evo Japan, which means we're going to get uh, we get a lot of developers to come out. Uh, of course, we're going to get a lot of awesome games and competing, of course, in case you guys have forgotten the games that are actually going down at Evo Japan. We do have a solid seven. We have Grand Blue, Fantasy Versus, Guilty Gear Strive, KOF 15, Melty Blood, Street Fighter V, Champion Edition, Tekken 7, and... Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. Those are the main titles. You know, they, they run a bunch of side tournaments as well. Uh, and uh, the reason I bring up Evil Japan, of course, is because we're going to have uh, the opportunity to, to check out some of the early footage for certain characters that aren't released. We're getting some early, uh, if you're there, you get some early access to some characters. So uh, for KOF 15, it's Kim. Kim yeah. is. Oh. God, I forgot his trailer came out too. His trailer did come out. Yeah, actually, <laughs> let me bring let me bring it up. But yeah, Kim uh, Kim's trailer did come out. I think it was uh, yeah, it was last year, I believe. Saturday. What? La did I say last year? I mean, last you week. did. Well, he, his announcement, his initial announcement was last year. You're right. Yes. But um, he he didn't at ta ta in the trailer at that time. But he had to tad in the trailer this time. like four days ago. Yeah. So yes. Kim, uh, Kim's <laughs> official trailer and the gameplay has, has been shown. Uh, but that's still, you know, regardless, this is more than likely the build that we're going to be getting uh, for this weekend that you're actually going to see some footage of. They might have some exhibitions and all. But we got to get a little bit of look as to what maybe his potential arcade uh, his arcade's going to entail in yes. terms of his story. So I was looking at Juicebox Twitter. He was saying that uh, him has his records back from some mm -hmm. of the old games. He's sort of looking to me like uh, Gang Il, like his uh, was it his trainer or his dad from the previous uh, previous that's iteration his, in think KOF that's, 14. I think that's his trainer. I don't think it's his dad. Okay, the trainer then possibly. So he has his uh, even his record stuff. It looks like his combos are, are long. His combos I don't think will be as long as KOF 14, where it was like flash kick, downward kick, flash kick. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know, but he is looking mighty awesome. I really like yeah. his level three uh, or his, his climax super, which I don't know if you've seen it yet, but here it comes. Oh, so he yeah. does the uh, this climax super. He does his whole like double sided yeah. at the tatas, and then sort of like a, a fire bird into the sky, which looks amazing. Phoenix, yeah, yes, it looks it you. looks really good. Um, yeah, I like the firebird car. Okay, I like I honestly. I mean, I love that they got the OG costume, but I'm, I'm actually a fan of his uh, new costume as well. Kind of get, yeah. I'm getting Ken vibes from it. I think I've mm -hmm. stated it before. The little red streak uh, is what gets me. Uh, full on, probably full screen super punish on projectiles has kind of been the thing uh, with Kim for quite some time. I've already asked some people, like, hey, you think it's gonna be you know projectile info and such? They're like, oh yeah. It, it always has been so uh he's gonna have some some good utility on it from full screen i mean i don't know who's uh who's really zoning that much um but i don't know how it's gonna affect certain other moves like with like like cookery and such right like with with the the puddles and all i'm, I'm wondering if that's gonna be uh, uh an interesting little tidbit there extra costume included no. with the og triple og costume that gets they, added to it which is pretty dope they nerfed cookie's fireball from the first iteration of the oh, game okay it used oh. to go higher and then they made it lower so oh uh, Oh, I know. sorry to the yeah. cookery mains out there, uh, yep, but yep, but we'll dying. be getting but we'll be getting Kim, uh, like I said, some Kim footage, and Kim isn't the only character either. Of course, we're gonna be getting Bedman. Bedman is gonna be playable. Oh. Uh, Bedman for uh, for Guilty Gear Strive will be available uh, to play as you've gotten. Uh, if you've gotten in on whatever their questionnaire, they they stated it when they made the announcement on Bedman that you know this was happening. Uh, so we're gonna get to see some some gameplay, which is pretty dope. So I'm I'm hyped for Evil Japan just so I can finally see what this character can do. What some players are gonna maybe potentially stream or show off uh, when when possible, because they're gonna want to market it. They want to sell as many season passes as possible, or even if even if it's just this character, they definitely want to sell units. So so Evil Japan is gonna be a spot for announcements. I want to say, which is why why the 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 Fexel thing was was what also got me is. Uh, like the timing is too close. Like Japanese developer, like Arika, like making an announcement at Evil Champ Japan would be great. Actually, it would be really good for them. Um, on top of all these other, you know, games that are showing off new stuff, why not be part of there? Especially considering, it seems like a lot of people are going. Like a lot of pros are going. Mm -hmm. A bit more than I mean, people are gonna go anyway. But uh, 
for some reason I feel like this is gonna be a pretty stacked Evo Japan. Probably the most stacked Evo Japan that, that, that there's been. So it would be a really good time for them to, <laughs> to have some sort of announcement or something playable there. I hadn't recognized she's coming out or Bedman Bedman is coming Bedman? out April sixth already. Yep. Didn't even right around the corner. Okay. Next week. Next week. So next, yeah. next week, I would say. Next 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 week? No, it's next, next week. week. It's next, uh, next Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday, yeah, it'll be after the yeah. next week's episode. Yeah. So yeah, Batman will be out then, but we'll get, like I said, some some good footage on it on Evo Japan. So I'm I I'm suspecting we're gonna get some good info here. Like I said, Evo Japan's gonna be a spot for some for some announcements. Um, so that that's what I'm trying to keep an eye on. I mean, besides being dope ass, you know, matches for sure. We didn't get a lot of uh, uh, Japanese players coming through for. Um, uh, you know, the Capcom Cup and such, right? For Street Fighter Five, we had a couple, but not as many. So now we get to kind of do the other, where as many American players, NA players, or international players are going to come over to Japan. We're going to get some good plays to kind of close out Street Fighter Five there, because that'll be the last Evo Japan with Street Fighter Five, right? Like this is this is it mm -hmm. for that um, until Combo Break. These are all kind of final runs for them. I'm actually now Virtual Fighter Five. That's you know obviously oh, just yeah. a cool cool game to watch. I mean, yeah, it's that's fun, gonna be whatever, fun. but. I am actually, this is going to sound weird. I'm interested in Grand Blue because I've been, you know, we've been seeing for the past couple, maybe two years, we've had a zombie on the show. Zombie mm -hmm. just taking it all with Cagliostro. I want to see who people are using out there. I think it's, Six is a is a well-played character. I believe there was a Japanese player that came into Evo last year and did well. Um, I don't know. I just want to see who's the, what's the new meta? What's it looking like? Uh, I'm kind of excited for that. Except that I'm going to be watching WrestleMania. <laughs> it's also that. But yeah, so Evo <laughs> Japan this weekend. Once again, guys, just a PSA 31st, uh, which will be uh, obviously on, uh, is that Friday for us? But technically, it's like Thursday. So expect like Thursday night, especially if you're on the East Coast, Thursday night, late evening, prior like three o'clock in the morning, something like that. We might be seeing some some matches or some, some pages already go live. So go check that out. Uh, like I said, I'm expecting some announcements, so I can't wait to hear about that.